Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. To those who are new, I am Engineer Jacob Bunyas. I am a civil engineer. I am also an engineering professor. And it has been a very long time na guys since the last time that I upload a video. But I hope guys you are still there. You are still um, supporting me. You are still sharing my videos to your friend, your classmates, or to those who are in need. So in this video, we will learn how to compute the number of tiles for your, uh, let's say, bathroom construction or your floor construction. So I know guys that some of you who are watching now are not engineer or are not an estimator so it may find it difficult for you guys on how to compute the number of tiles. So let me help you guys by showing this more simplified or more basic way on how to do it. But before that guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. So in computing a tile, so I have um, enumerated here um, some process. The first one is you compute the floor or wall try to which your tiles will be placed on. Okay, so you compute mo lang kung anong area ng floor or the area of the wall uh, kung saan mo ilalagay yung tiles. Then the second one is you divide the floor area by the tile area using this equation to the number of tiles is equal to the floor or wall area over the tile area or the area of one tile. Then in case there could be an emergency like may nabasag or there is a, an accident, you can add a contingency that is for or an extra tiles no, for um, emergency use. So without further ado, let me give you an example. So let's say this is your room. The area of your room or the dimension of your room is 3 by 5 meters so this is a rectangular room and you want to place tiles on the wall and on the floor like this one here and you want to place a 10 20 glazed tiles on the four sides of your room okay and then a 20 by 20 centimeter floor tiles on your floor okay so we will be computing how many 10 by 20 glazed tiles you will be needing and how many 20 by 20 floor tiles you will be needing for your room construction. Okay, so just simply, first thing I guess, as what I have mentioned, you compute the area to which your tiles will be placed on. Since we have two different type of tiles here, so we have a 10 by 2 and a 20 by 20 centimeter tiles. We have different type of tiles available in the market. We have the 60 by 60. We also have this 50 by 50 centimeter tiles. So it depends on your preference kung anong um, type of tiles that you will be needing on your construction. So the first thing again is to compute the, uh, let's say the floor area. That's the first thing that we um, determine. Okay. We have this um, 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter floor tiles okay so we will be computing how many 20 by 20 floor tiles that we will be needing for our floor of our room so again the area of the floor since this is a rectangle we know that the area of a rectangle is a uh, length times the width okay so in this case we have um, the length is 5 meters by, then the width is 3 meters. Okay, so we have the area of our floor, which is 15 square meter. And since we will be using a 20 by 20, so we need to compute the area of a tile, which has a dimension of 20 by 20. So area of tile, or area of one tile is equal to, now take note, we have a unit of centimeters, so we will be com uh, we will be converting it in terms of meters. So we know that in every one meter we have this one hundred centimeters. So in this case, we have this twenty centimeter divided by one hundred centimeter. We have this zero point two meter tiles. Okay, so we have this area of one tile. We have zero point two meter times 0 0.2 meter we have 0 0.04 square meter so this is the area of one tile so in this case to compute the number of tiles for our floor we have the area of the floor divided by the area of one tile this is equal to now we know that the area of our floor is 15 square meter 
So we divide it by the area of one tile is 0.04 square meter. So we have the total number of floor tiles equals to 375. So this is the exact number of tiles that you will be using on your floor. However, guys, in case there could be a breakage, so you can add a contingency. So basically, contingency would be just the 2%. So it's up to you guys on what percentage of contingency you will be using. But in this case, let's say you have to have a 2% contingency. You have this 375 times 0 0.02. So you will be needing a... So this equals to 7.5 tiles or let's round it up to 8 tiles. For the total number of tiles that you need to purchase is equal to, so you add 375 and 8. So we have 383 tiles or 383 of 20 by 20 floor tiles. So this would be now our answer. That is only for the floor tiles alone. But take note, we will also be needing tiles for your wall. Okay, so now take note for your wall tiles, you will be placing 10 by 20 centimeter glaze tiles on the four side of your wall. So how are we going to compute for the wall area? So there are a lot of methods on how to do it. But in this case, I will be first computing for the perimeter, okay, or the sum of all the sides of our room. So first, the perimeter is equal to 3 plus, now take note the dimension of this one side of the room is 3 meter. The length is 5 meters. So we have plus 5. Now take note, we have another 3 meters here because we will be also putting our tiles on this side. So we have uh, 3 meters on the lower side plus other 5 meters on this side. Okay. So 5 meters. So this equals to 16 meters or this is the perimeter of our room. Then for the area, so we can now compute it by multiplying perimeter and the height. Okay, the height of our wall that needs to be computed. So this is 1.5 meter. So our tiles will be placed within 1.5 meters above the floor line. Okay, so we have the perimeter is 16. We multiply it by 1.5. So we have the wall area. This equals to 24 square meter. Okay? So this is another way of computing the wall area. But we can also compute it individually. Or we compute the area of each sides of our room. So let's say on, on the upper side, we have the, let's say, area of the wall. One, we have... 3 meter, that's the width, times the height of the wall. We have 1.5, so we have 3 times 1.5, this is 4.5. So since we have uh, two sides that has this width of 3 meters, so this one and this one, so we can uh, multiply it by 2. So we have 9 square meter, this is for the two sides which has a 3 meter width. Now for our area for our length, we have this 5 times 1.5. This equals to 7.5. Now take note, we have these two sides. This sides here and on the other side. So we have this area 15. Okay, that's 15 square meter. So if you sum up, 9 and 15 so we have 24 square meters so you can either use the perimeter way of computing the wall area or the individual way of computing the area okay now since we have now the wall area then we can now compute for the area of one tile to be placed on the wall okay area of one tile again we will be using here 10 by 20 centimeter tile. Now take note, our unit is in terms of meters, so we can um, 
try to convert it into meter by dividing it by 100. So we have this 0 0.1 meter by 0 0.2 meter tile. Okay? So the area of one tile is equal to 0 0.02 square meter. Okay? So we have now the number of tiles is equal to the the wall area we have 24 square meter divided by 0 0.02 square meter and this equals to 1200 tiles okay now take note again in case of emergency you need to have this contingency or extra tiles so for contingency we try to um, compute the 2% of it so 1200 of 2% so that is 24. So the total number of tiles is 1,224. So this is the number of tiles that you will need to purchase, okay? Or you will need to buy for your floor construction. So this is a 10 centimeter by 20 centimeter. So as a summary, so you need to buy 383 of 20 by 20 floor tiles and 1,224 of 10 by 20 unglazed tiles. So this is in the case if you have this rectangular um, room, okay, in which you have this 3 by 5 meter dimension. Now what if we have this irregular floor plan shape? Let's just like this example number 2, we have this L-shaped floor plan. Now as what you can observe now in our first example, in computing for the floor area, we just simply multiply the length and the width. But in this case, we cannot uh, do it directly. It's because this is not a rectangular or a square floor area. As what you can notice here, we have this again L-shaped floor area. So in this case, we need to divide this floor into several shapes. Now we can divide it into two rectangular or square shapes. So we can divide it into this way. So we have this area one in which this has this two meter since the width is two meter by the length is three meter on this side. We just add 1 meter and 2 meter on the right side. So we have this 3 meter length. Okay. The remaining shape is in square. It's because we have this 1 meter width and a 1 meter length. So this is our area 2, which has a dimension of 1 meter by 1 meter. Okay. So to compute for the floor area, we just need 2 sum up the area of our floor area 1 and the area of our floor 2 okay so for our area 1 we have this 2 by 3 so this equals to 6 square meter okay so our second area here is the smaller shape we have this 1 meter by 1 meter in which this one is 1 square meter Okay, so 1 times 1 is equal, of course, equals to 1. Then to get the total floor area, we just simply add this 2. So 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 square meter. So this is now our total floor area. Okay, again, in order to compute the area of an irregular shaped floor plan, you just simply need to divide it into rectangle or square. You can also divide it into like this way okay we have this our area 2 and this one is our area 1 so it's up to you and how are you going to do it so after coming up with the total floor area so we now compute for the area of one tile okay so the area of the 24 inches by 24 inches tile this is from the problem okay However, guys, take note, our unit here is in terms of inch. So this is an English unit. So we need to make our unit consistent. So therefore, we need to convert it into meter. Now, 24 inches by 24 inches, if you can recall your um, conversion 
um, knowledge, no? Or you can simply just use your cell phone to convert 24 inches to meter. You can come up with a 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter tile. Okay? Or that is 0.6 meter by 0.6 meter tile. So if you don't know what this 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 is all about, so this is basically the width and the length of a tile. So if you have this tile, you have this 0 0.6 meter width and 0 0.6 meter length. If you have this 10 by 20 centimeter tile, you have this 0.1 meter width and 0.2 meter length. Okay? That is just basically the dimension of one tile. So to compute for the area of one tile, so we have this 0.6 times 0.6. So this is equal to 0 0.36 square meter. Correct? So we can now compute the number of tiles or the exact number of tile that is basically the total floor area which is 7 square meter divided by the the area of one tile we have 0 0.36 square meter this is equal to 19.44 but you cannot buy a half of a tile correct so you just simply need to round it up so therefore you have to buy 20 tiles so what I have mentioned guys, you need to come up with a contingency allowance in case may nabasag. So you can add, let's say you have to add 5% of these tiles. So 5% of the tile. So we have 20 tiles times 0 0.05. So you add 1 tile. Okay, that is for emergency use. So that means you need to buy 21 of 24 inch by 24 inches tiles. Okay? So this is how you compute for the number of tiles when you have this irregular shape of your uh, floor. Okay? So I hope guys that you have learned something. But please don't forget to share this video to your classmates or to your friends. And please, of course, don't forget to um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell as well. Thank you guys for listening. So I hope to see you on my next video.